bloody shocking when it's 41 degrees outside, you've got food poisoning from a dodgy servo pie, and you can't go gold prospecting. But luckily for me, I can summon my own gold. But it is easy to dig it up. Hey guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. Welcome to another episode of Is There Gold There? Uh, this is where I go out and prospect random spots to see if there is indeed gold there. Usually I have some sort of hunch that there might be. Uh, sometimes we find it and sometimes we don't. If you're new to the channel, there I think there are four or five previous episodes of this where we go to very random different spots. And I've had a, a mediocre of success, which has been really cool. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to mine my car. Now why are we going to do that? Well, I live in the northeast, and in the northeast, all I have to do is step out of my car, and I'm standing on the Beechworth Goldfields. The property that uh, I currently inhabit is literally built on top of all mine tailings. So I drive through mine workings all day long. If I go anywhere to mine, I'm driving through mine workings. And even though I'm driving through them to get to spots where there are going to be richer deposits, there is a super big chance that there are going to be deposits on the roads, on the trails that I go into, even on my shoes, on my tools, anything like that. So all we're going to do is clean this car out. We're going to crevice it underneath on the undercarriage. And then we're going to clean out my backpack, maybe even vacuum the inside of the car, uh, and a few other places that I know dirt accumulates, and see if there's any gold that's been picked up along the way. Now, I've never crevassed a car before, so I'm assuming it's going to be relatively similar to uh, crevicing a normal crevice. I think, I can't foreseeably see huge amounts of dirt coming out of my car, but uh, no, we'll take a big pan. Why not? Big pan. And a hooky thing. And that might be about it. I don't think we'll need much more than that. The first stage of mining my car is going to be mining the wheel wells because I know from working on cars that the wheel wells have these great little crevices in them that collect a lot of dirt. It's where you get rusty quarter panels from. So they're always worth washing out. And I reckon, aha, I can see it. I reckon they'll hold some dirt and they do. Check it out. Welcome to my wheel well. Check out my first crevice. Hard packed dirt and a grizzly moose sniffing my face. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm filming this today is because I've been crook as a dog and I've got some really good advice for you no matter how hungry you are no matter how hungry you are do not buy the last Mrs. Max beef meat pie from the dodgy looking servo because it's not worth it doesn't matter how hungry you are go somewhere else and buy something that's not going to make you sick top tip this is the dirt that I got from just my wheel wells, which is pretty damn impressive if you ask me, because that was just in those tiny little cracks and there's a fair bit of it there. Um, most of it's this clay-like stuff, and I'm pretty sure I know where this comes from. Uh, this is the only place that really has this really sticky orangey clay and there's big gold up there. So I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Here's a plowed road, who knows. Uh, next thing we're gonna do though is empty my backpack. There's a ton of dirt in that backpack. And that's where all my tools go. So I want to know if the gold from where I've been working, even though I washed my tools off at the end, you know, if any grains have got stuck in a little crack that I didn't see and fallen into my backpack. Alright, I'm just going to crush all these big lumps up. 
so it's all nice fine powder. Well, only one thing left to do now, pan it. Just before we pan off this dirt, I wanted to announce something really cool, our next giveaway. I'm going to give away a bag of 500 grams of pay dirt. This pay dirt is going to come from the King Gold Hole. And if you haven't seen those videos, there's a link in the description so you can see them. I've pulled out some amazing gold from this over the last two trips. And I'm very excited to get back in there and work it more extensively. This bag will come out unseated, which means that I'm going to dig it off the bedrock and just put it 500 grams worth of it into a nice vacuum seal bag for someone to go and pan down. There will be gold in it, but we can't guarantee how much. It could be a nugget, there could be five specks, there could be 50 specks. We don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? It's a bit of the mystery. But you're going to get to pan down the dirt exactly as it comes out of the ground, just like I would. Now, to enter this competition couldn't be easier. All you've got to do is leave a comment in the descriptions below. If you leave a comment, you're automatically entered into the draw, which will be drawn on the 7th of February at 8 p.m., providing that this time my internet doesn't drop out like it did last time. <laughs> Once uh, drawn, I'll send it anywhere in the world. So you can be in the US, Canada, um, Israel, Sweden, doesn't matter. I will send it out to you. Anyone can enter. Right, let's go pan this gold off. All right, it's prediction time. My prediction is that there won't be any gold. Uh, I don't think there's enough dirt there, to be honest, and I, I don't know if it will actually keep it. I don't think there will be, but there might be. I, the, the chances are that driving through that many places that have gold, that there could be a little speck of gold in there. I hope, really hope there is, it'll be awesome. So I won't be surprised if there's not, but I also won't be surprised if there is. Weird prediction, I know. <laughs> Let's get panning. got mud on you. Now you don't. This is very interesting. Check out the type of dirt. I'll try and get it all shaken out before the camera on again. Check out the type of dirt that's come out of it. We've actually got large rocks. Look, quartz, um, pyrites, everything. So, I mean, these are just sitting on my car. They've even got black sand and stuff. This would, If this was in a creek, it would look like a good pan, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, here we go. Gold? Any gold? Is that gold? Oh my gold! Oh my gold! There's gold on my car! Look! There's a little tiny speck right there! Hang on! Let's see if there's any. Whoa! There's more! Ah! <laughs> there's gold on my car! There's actually a fair bit of it! It's all micro stuff, but there's gold on my car! Oh, what? I hope you can see that on camera. I'll, I'll pause. I'll try and get it paused and pushed all into one area so you can see it. It's all just there. I've got three decent little specks and one micro, like, nano bit. And there's a couple of nano, nano dots up there. You're not going to be able to see them, I don't think, on camera. But there is probably 10 to 15 specks there. Little tiny ones. Micro ones. The theory was right. I see so, you now the interesting thing is that could have come out of my backpack or on my car either way it makes me want to vacuum out my car because I reckon that from my feet just trudging it in and grizzly in his fur and stuff um, I reckon there would be a fair amount there's a bit of gold down there that was trying to escape too um, that's really cool like I said before it wasn't a surprise that uh, I found gold but I am really really happy that I did because trapping gold in a in a funnel in a wheel well it's very active you know you drive hundreds or thousands of kilometers uh, and there's a lot of chance for it to escape which makes me think that if you uh, mined or panned off the dirt that came from running boards or side steps on four-wheel drives that are, that are horizontal and flat where the gold can actually get trapped well that would probably be a lot better I reckon you would actually find uh, better deposits on it because it can't really go anywhere um, however it is exposed to the elements I don't know what I would like to ask you though, if you have a four-wheel drive and you live in an area like I do, uh, clean off your side steps for me uh, and other places in the car that accumulate dirt and, and let me know if you do find any gold. If you find any gold, drop me a comment. I'd love to hear about it. 
Well, that concludes another episode of Is There Gold There? I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a bit of an impromptu one considering I've been so sick. It's been nice to get out and do a little bit of gold mining. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to catch you out there sometime. And as always, check out this gold.